Appreciate it. All right, heads up, summer travelers who love spending time out in the ocean. Before you pack your bags, you should double check the sunscreen that you're bringing. That's because some sunscreens are damaging coral reefs and marine life. Six News reporter Cindy Deshawn verifies what you need to know and if places are actually banning certain sunscreens. Chris and Lindsay, if you're planning a trip to hit the beaches this summer, the sunscreen you're wearing may not be on your mind. However, you might see signage saying no coral killing sunscreen on the beach. We're here to help verify what that means. Healthy coral reefs are one of the most valuable ecosystems on Earth. They face many threats. You don't have to kill an animal. Um, to be able to interfere with its value to the ecosystem. One being some of the chemicals found in certain sunscreens. One drop for five Olympic sized swimming pools is enough to uh, cause damage to coral reefs. With summer in full swing, more travelers are noticing signage like this. So let's verify. Are some sunscreens banned and what should you be purchasing? Our sources are Rebecca Hamilton, co-CEO of Badger, Robert Richmond, a research professor and director of the Kiwalo Marine Laboratory, and NOAA. There are two ways sunscreens work. One is to absorb uh, UV, uh, AB, different types of UV light. Uh, the other one is to reflect. Chemical sunscreen absorbs and research shows the ingredients can harm coral. The primary ones that are listed are the oxybenzone and octanoxate, which also happen to be two of the most uh, common chemical sunscreens used. Mineral sunscreen is the safer option. That's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Richmond says make sure you're also checking the label for nanoparticles. You'll want to avoid these. They can actually penetrate the skin and they can get more widely distributed in the ocean. NOAA says sunscreen chemicals affects marine life in many ways, from killing coral, deforming sea urchins, and decreasing fertility and reproduction in fish. That's why some places like Mexico, Aruba, and Hawaii have banned the sale, distribution, and use of non-mineral sunscreens. They'll have signs up to say that if you have the following ones, please don't use that. You know, it's always trying to figure out a way to encourage good behavior. So we can verify, yes, chemical sunscreens are banned in some places. It's best to purchase mineral sunscreen if you're taking a trip to the coral reefs. Now, another effective way of protecting your skin from harmful UV rays is wearing SPF clothing. And before you go on your next vacation, make sure to check your destination's rules and regulations on sunscreen, guys. Yeah, if you're in the Caribbean or somewhere near the equator, wearing that full long sleeve shirt really is a good way to go. And right. Fully protecting yep. the reef then. Yep. You're not going to get it through TSA, though, if you don't put it in your baggage. <laughs> All point. right. Yeah. It's another thing to think about. Yep. Sydney, thank you.